Hey everyone, a very good evening to all of you. I am Parul, your mentor for management for both RBI and SEBI examination. I believe my last video really helped you out in writing the better answer and I'm back again with another video regarding the answer writing only but again here is a catch I'm going to write the live answer in front of you yes you heard me right I'm going to pick out one question and we'll write the answer together before wasting any time let's start with writing the answer but before I start I have something to tell you I'm going to keep my video shut so that I can able to, uh, to write better answer and my whole concentration will be on writing only and second before you write any answer it is important for you for the students to conceptually clear with the answer all right if you don't know the concept you cannot write the better answer so the tip would be bina padhe aap answer mat dena you will end up disappointing yourself all right i am writing in front of you today maine bhi padha hai टॉपिक अच्छे से चैप्टर्स अच्छे से उसके बाद ही मैं अच्छे से लिख पाऊंगी ऑल राइट सो मेक श्योर यू प्रिपेयर वेल बिफोर यू राइट द आंसर ऑल राइट आई एम गोइंग टू कीप माई वीडियो शर्ट नाउ सो आई एम डूइंग दैट ऑल राइट या सो एज यू कैन सी दिस इज द क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड द क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स ऑफ लीडरशिप एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ जस्ट गिव मी अ सेक दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ फिफ्टीन marks all right dear so as i uh, told you about the sop in my last video i'm going to follow the sop as well so what was the first step anyone can tell yes the first step was to read the question twice so that we do not miss any inf important information in the question so i'm reading the question once again for for all of us and the question is explain the different styles of leadership all right so i'm going to begin with the answer in my mind i know what is the question in my mind i have certain keywords as well which i'm going to uh, mark so that the examiner can know that yes this person knows the answer very well and this person has the conceptual clarity with respect to the given question and this is what an examiner is looking for uh, you know uh, looking in you all right the examiner is looking for a versatile candidate that is why we have so many phases in this examination so what i'm going to do i'm going to find the keyword and here the keyword is leadership so as a student i'm going to explain what a leadership is to the examiner first so the leadership can be uh, defined just a sec as a process of influencing the behavior of others here other stands for subordinates towards the accomplishment of goals all right here i have the liberty to make my typing errors correct but wahan pe exam mein aapke paas itna pressure hoga you will not get the time and the opportunity to correct your answer that is why i emphasize that to you practice answer writing daily so that you do not make any typing error while you are writing there because wahan pe aap already kafi zyada nervous honge okay so what i generally do when i don't know the other definition of an important topics i end up writing the the definition but in different words so here i am doing the same in other words leadership is a process by which an executive you can write the manager as well uh directs he is or her subordinates and influence the work and behavior for the common benefit of the organization as well as its members just make sure while you are writing the answer as i said in my last video to keep 
the writing as simple as possible and do not use try not to use the advanced vocabulary all right because we are not here to you know uh uh distract the examiner we are just him we are just writing just to help him out that yes we know a particular concept all right to lead means to guide direct make sure you use the punctuation as well and integrate the efforts of an organizations people towards again a common goal because in the organization an organization has a common goal and whatever employees in an organization hires it is for the contribution only so that everyone can contribute in achieving the organization objective and this is the responsibility of leader only to help everyone to know everyone that this is the vision and i am going to influence the actions all right now we are going to talk about the answer and of course like in the management we have evolution of management this is one of the chapter of your syllabus wherein we learn how the management has evolved evolved over time from classical approach to neoclassical approach same goes for the leadership style as well so first i will explain i will write the basic the traditional styles of leadership then i will move forward to the modern styles of leadership which we all know so the basic i, I will uh, let him know the exam will let him the examiner know this about the same thing traditionally there were four main leadership styles and what are these i am letting him know that i know about the autocratic all right people and then we have participative just a sec okay yeah another one we have a uh, free reign or in other words you can say larger sphere and last but not the least we have my personal favorite paternalistic style of leadership and now as this is a 15 mark question i'm going to explain the four leadership style in brief so that again i want to have a good a good impression in front of the examiner that is why i will try everything to make him like my answer all right i'm going to explain of course the autocratic style of leadership first let's again so this is the worst leader we all can ever have because this leader does not allow the participation in the decision making to the subordinates and this is the leader only who likes to take all the decisions on his own or you can say in this autocratic style of leadership the decision making power is centralized with the leader only and not with the subordinates all right enough with the talking let's write the answer now so the autocratic leader gives orders which must be obeyed by the subordinates he or she so what i generally do this is what i like to follow you can follow your approach as well so i like to uh, pr uh, give pronouns for both he, uh, he and she for both the genders that is why i'm writing he or she it depends upon you uh, to which gender you like to give to which genders pronoun you like to give emphasize either he or she i like giving uh, i am i am i treat that i am unbiased that is why i'm writing he or she both here all right he or she determines determines policies for the group without this is an important part without consulting them अगर आप इतना भी एग्जाम में लिखोगे और एग्जामिनर स्मार्ट है समझ जाएगा यस उस बच्चे ने क्रक्स तो लिख दिया है दैट वर्ड he or she uh, you know understand by this terminology autocratic but again i am repeating the same thing 15 mark ka question hai to do teen sentences aur likhne mein kuch nahi jata hai all right he or she tells 
the group what immediate steps they must take without sharing future plans because again वो बस ये चाहता है कि focus सारा present पे हो future प्लान से subordinates का कुछ लेना देना नहीं है and I'm not going to tell about the same all right and this is again something important I'm going to write under this style all decision making power is centralized with the leader and I told you the reason behind it because he does not like to share the authority which he has another one we have participative participative and just a sec yeah or another one democratic leadership all right or we can say style as well so here this was uh, lead this these kind of leader are little lenient in their approach they like to have participation of the subordinates as well but but these are the one these are the leaders only who take the ultimate decision all right so i'm going to explain the the definition of the same a participative leader a participative leader only gives let me uh, yeah rewrite it instructions after this is important in this line the exam by reading this line the examiner will get to know yes this bachcha knows what to write in the answer he ceases to it that group discussions are carried out to decide upon policies and future course of action and again i'm going to write the same line that this manager allows the participation of subordinates as well so party say pdev leader decentralizes authority to the subordinates then we have another one that is free brain r e i g n style okay yeah this approach is the baddest when why is that so i'll tell you the reason behind it this approach gives this particular leader gives complete freedom to the subordinates he or she just creates a line that agar aapko iske bahar decision lene hai that ask me ab is boundary mein rakhe you can do whatever you want and these people follow this style so a free rein leader does not lead but leaves the group entirely on itself the thing which i have just told you but in some different words all right here there is a least just give me a sec yeah least intervention i hope i'm writing right all right intervention by the leader all right a free then leader i'm saying leader leader just as you can see typing errors mere se bhi ho rahe hain but even though even i have been practicing with you people because i feel like it's important for me to know all the things which i'm going to taught i'm going to teach to my 
स्टूडेंट्स और राइट एंड हमने लास्ट टाइम में बता दें दैट ही जस्ट ओवर लुक्स द परफॉर्मेंस बिकॉज ही समवेयर बिलीव हिज यू नो सब और दैट इज वाई ही इज टेकिंग काइंड ऑफ रिस्क टू लीव एवरी थिंग ऑन हीज यू नो सब ऑर्डिनेट्स नाउ लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट माई पर्सनल फेवरेट वी हैव पेटर्नलिस्टिक स्टाइल ऑफ लीडरशिप हेयर द लीडर एक्ट्स एज अ फादरली फिगर टू द सब ऑर्डिनेट्स ऑल राइट सो आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द सेम फर्स्ट अंडर दिस द लीडर एज्यूम्स दट हीज फंक्शन इज फादरली हिज एटीट्यूड इज that of treating the group as a family and as a family and leader x as a how as a head of the family all right now i'm going to tell some of the pros about it he works to guide all right help protect and keep his followers keep keep his followers happily important thing working together because ultimately we are going to work and it is a responsibility of leaders to let us work together in a in a good environment as members of the family all right it's okay theek hai this style this style of leadership is successful in which country i hope you people know in japan ऑल राइट सो मैंने एक एक्स्ट्रा इन्फॉर्मेशन भी लिख दिया है जो बाकी स्टूडेंट्स जर्नली नहीं लिखते हैं सो so, इस इस स्टेटमेंट से क्या होगा एग्जामिनर को समझ आ जाएगा यार इसने सिर्फ थ्योरिटिकल कंसेप्ट से नहीं पढ़ा है इस बंदे को पता भी है कि यस yes, बाकी कंट्रीज में कौन कौन से लीडरशिप स्टाइल्स फॉलो होते हैं अगेन दिस लाइन विच हैव जस्ट रिटर्न फॉर यू पीपल विल गिव मी एन एज ओवर अदर स्टूडेंट्स सो एज वी ऑल नो दीज आर द फोर बेसिक स्टाइल्स ऑफ leadership which we used to follow traditionally of course as the you know uh, the modern uh, the, the world is changing so the styles of leadership there is one gentleman called rensis lickert i hope the spelling is correct rensis लिकर्ड ही ऑल्सो गेव फोर स्टाइल्स ऑफ लीडरशिप विच आई एम गोइंग टू राइट इन ब्रीफ अबाउट दोज ठीक है सो यहाँ पर मैं लिखूंगी लेट ऑफकोर्स अगेन वाई एम आई राइटिंग इट बिकॉज पंद्रह मार्क का क्वेश्चन है तो सिर्फ चार ये ट्रेडिशनल मैथड्स लेके काम नहीं चलेगा मुझे एग्जामिनर को बताना है कि मुझे सिर्फ ट्रेडिशनल नहीं मुझे मॉडर्न स्टाइल्स भी पता है ऑल राइट सो ही डेवलप्ड फोर लीडरशिप स्टाइल and uh which were more complex than the previous one bracket mein likh dete hain just to, to ease the work of examiner traditional uh leadership style you know when i was in my 12th class and we were all preparing i was preparing for my board so my math teacher i still remember his name he, uh, my math teacher was ramender sir and he uh, told me a very nice tip how to write better answer in the examination all right so unhone kaha ki aap apne examiner ko samjho ki unko kuch nahi aata hai he or she does not know literally anything और आपके आंसर्स इस तरीके से होने चाहिए कि उसको पढ़ के सब कुछ समझ आ जाए द सेम थिंग विच आई टॉक्ड अबाउट यू इन माई लास्ट वीडियो दैट योर लैंग्वेज शुड बी सिंपल ऑल राइट आप ज़्यादा स्पेस ना दो उसका काम आप ज़्यादा मत बढ़ाइए 
उसको आपका पेपर देख के मेहनत नहीं करनी कि यार ये कहाँ है क्या लिख क्या लिख दिया है जितना आप सिंपल लिखेंगे उतना चांसेस होंगे कि आपके मार्क्स ज़्यादा हो बट अगेन एट द सेम टाइम यू ऑल्सो कीप इन माइंड दैट यू ऑल्सो टू यू टू यूज द की वर्ड्स विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट रिलेटेड टू वन पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक ऑल राइट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द नेम ऑफ द स्टाइल्स गिवन बाय दिस जेंटल मैन द फर्स्ट इज एक्सप्लोई टेटिव ऑटो क्रैटिक देन वी हैव बेनिवेलेंट ये बहुत सिंपल है और बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है जनरली फॉर द सेक ऑफ मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वी लीव द लीस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वन एंड एग्जाम आपको पता है एग्जाम अनप्रिडिक्टेबल है एनी थिंग कैन कम इन द एग्जाम एग्जामिनेशन टू जस्ट प्लीज डू नॉट लीव एनी थिंग कवर एवरी थिंग वट एवर यू कैन एंड पार्टिसिपेटिव ऑल राइट आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन the first one but before that i have one something to tell you guys and i'm explaining for you all right so yahan pe jaise maine autocratic likha tha then i talked about participative free reign and paternalistic style to yahan pe jo supervision the control of supervision hai wo apne कम हो रहा है सबऑर्डिनेट्स पे फिर टॉक अबाउट ऑटोक्रेटिक और पैटर्नलिस्टिक सो सेम वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो द सेम अप्रोच अंडर द रेंसिस लिकर्ड स्टाइल्स ऑफ लीडरशिप एज वेल ऑल राइट सो दिस स्टाइल एज आई से दिस इज एन ऑटोक्रेटिक स्टाइल ऑफ लीडरशिप हेयर अगेन विच आर टोल्ड यू हेयर मैनेजर टेक ऑल द वर्क रिलेटेड decisions and order their subordinates to carry them out here this word exploitative word already you know uh, uh, show that they these leader exploit the subordinates as much as much as they can standards and methods of performance are are also set by the managers all right standards are common the standards which we studied in the controlling chapter the communication is highly formal and downward in direction why is that so why am i writing downward because here the merely instructions are being issued by superiors and the subordinates have do not have any say in the decision making process all right people in the direction all right this is an important right which you should be writing in case this question come in the examination the sub ordinates have absolutely no say in any matter in the organization so these leaders treat their employees as a uh, as means of production only they do not think that they the these are the humans they have the feelings all right then i'm going to talk about the another one, another one that is bene volent authoritative okay the managers here are also auto credit but this would be great however 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 is more formal in nature in the examination you should be writing the formal language only however they are not exploit dative all right why start so because at some times they try to give some flexibility to their subordinates at times they give some flexibility to the sub ordinates to carry 
to carry their task all right yeah, I don't know आगे तो यही तरह रहने देते हैं एग्जाम में होता है हम एक सेंटेंस मुझे लगता है और लिख सकते हैं नहीं यार इतना ही ठीक है तो आई एम जस्ट कीपिंग इट दिस ओनली सो दैट मैं कुछ और ना लिख दूँ लेट्स सी वट आई कैन राइट अबाउट द बेनेवलेंट मोर ओके दे आर वेरी जस्ट वट कैन आई राइट ओके या हार्श with sub ordinates who do not who do not carry out their task it means here the subord the managers follow the carrot and stick approach in dealing with the subordinates let's quickly understand about carrot and stick approach it means if you if you perform if, if, if i include myself if the subordinates perform good they will get carrot it means a reward from the superior and if they do not perform as per the standard they will get stick it means the punishment from the super, superior all right then let's talk about the second one third one so Sorry, consultative style of leadership. So here, under this system, the managers uh, set goals. Just a sec, and yeah, yeah, and issue. orders after discussing with the subordinate needs all right so here this is same like the participative uh, the this one the participative democratic style of leadership leadership which we just talked about so the leadership styles can be overlapping with one an another they take only major decisions and leave the teen decisions uh, to be taken by sub or the needs all right i hope i am clear to you and another one the example which is my personal favorite remember while i was teaching management i used to tell so much about this the subordinates are free to discuss work related matters with their superior so what this line is showing this line is showing is that the communication is both upward and downward too all right for example if we talk about autocratic style of leadership the communication is is only downward and and not upward what, what is the reason behind it because subordinates should not have any say in the decision making process thus there is a two way communication last but not the least we have the participative leadership style here what happened this is an ideal way why is that so because here the relations between the subordinates and the supervisors are cordial and friendly which create an important you know a good infrastructure a good environment to work in so i'm writing the same this is an ideal system in which organizations should work the relations between the managers and sub ordinates are cordial and friendly 
can anyone tell me what is the reason behind it because here the manager realized that as much as i need my supervise my support needs to complete the task they also need me so the need and want are both the sides all right the communication system is completely open it means anyone can communicate to anyone diagonal communication is there and at the same time these kind of leaders also follow what and and a concept called open door policy it means the doors of the supervisors or the top level of management are always open for the subordinates they can come anytime and discuss important issues with respect to the organization all right here the goals are set and goals are set and work related decisions are taken by the subordinates all right so these things are important when it comes to different styles of leadership now what i'm going to do i am going to write the conclusion and in the conclusion it, uh, in the conclusion i'm going to follow a very nice uh, approach what is the approach let's see what i've been writing so i'm i'm letting the examiner know that these are the two styles of leadership and the leadership styles are still evolving but of course i'm not to, i'm not going to talk about the newest one because i have time and words constraint but i'm going to mention about that thing for the examiner so that he or she can seize it for himself or herself all right has been further evolution of just a sec of leadership styles so leadership styles as i always say it is important yeah evolution of leadership L E A T S H leadership style under mind the uh, I'm not so sure about the spelling so in case the spelling is wrong please do let me know huh, in the comment section below a I think this is the spelling only let me see this is the spelling or not all right Tanibam and skims I know the spelling of it. Uh, with a total of seven styles of leadership based on the use of authority and delegation to subordinates even today organizations and <coughs> leaders leaders uh, follow the above four let me write four major styles of leadership the traditional one i'm talking about here uh, uh i hope the spelling is correct yeah okay let's see after the class in different situations and with different labels in an organization all right with this i am done with the answer i hope you liked the way i write uh, written the answer i kept in mind few things first uh, conceptual clarity should be there use the simple uh, uh, 
you know vocabulary simple do not use advanced vocabulary while you write the answer and at the same time i also made made sure that i'm not writing big paragraphs in the answer see teen char se bhi zyada teen se zyada koi bhi aapko line nahi milegi so i'm just keeping the job of examiner easy so that he can check or she can check quickly and gives me the answer i have explained the leadership i also make make made sure that i have written the conclusion as well so this is how you should try to write the you know answer in the examination i hope you like the answer if you want more such videos please do let me know i will be happily uh in you know making more such videos like that as long as the videos are helping my students i will be up uh, there for all of you just one thing at the end please do write the answers regularly why i able to write a good answer because as i said in the video itself even i write and revise the answers on a regular basis because that is how i will get better at my job all right i'm just i'm not just going to sit and write the answer to wo ek quality nahi dikhegi if you want to see quality in your answer just make sure you practice on a daily basis have conceptual clarity and read as much as you can the more you read the more you will able to write the better answers with this i'm taking a leave thank you so much for your time and uh, all the very best for your examinations bye bye see you super soon